was so excited to stream too. anything. Bob Ross art stream. <laughs> It's it's more just that I can see what the mic is what it's not, and it's missing a lot of what I'm I don't <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Okay. All right. Um 
Okay, I just... <laughs> I just re-added it. It currently has no filters on it. And it's still... Not getting up to the right area. But it is picking up a lot of extra background noise. So that's great. <laughs> you can see, hear everything I'm saying now, though. Okay. I mean, it's it's got to be an improvement, right? Dear George, so much from my Wisconsin ski vacation. I arrived here at Wickford Castle last night, just before a blizzard swept in. The mountain is completely yes, shut down. And I am quiet. Okay. Okay. <laughs> you guys will have to keep me posted on if it gets janky again. Anyway, Steelers Girl, the Bob Ross thing. I saw someone do this once. And it, it looks hilarious. You you have a Bob Ross video playing, so you can only hear it, but you can't you can't watch it. So you're just trying to follow along based on what he's saying, <laughs> instead of uh, you know like visually. <laughs> it just sounded really fun. I am thinking of getting a uh, Bob Ross wig as well, but we will see. Okay. Hi there, it's me, Nancy Drew. Hi. You're just in time for my latest mystery. Treasure in the Royal Tower. Choose your difficulty level to start off. If you're new to adventure games, you might want to click the tutorial button first for a few tips. We on know what we're Dear doing. Dear George, Senior so detective. much from my Wisconsin ski vacation. I arrived here at Wickford Castle last night just before a blizzard swept in. The mountain is completely shut down and the surrounding roads are closed. I think I'm one of the few guests who made it to the castle at all. The place is huge and old and slightly creepy under the circumstances. You should hear this wind. What's more, the owner, Christy Lane, my father's friend, is away on business. I tried to ask the caretaker, Dexter Egan, how I could contact her, but he said he didn't know. Doesn't that seem odd? I couldn't help feeling like there was something he wasn't telling me. All this makes me a little nervous, but I'm determined to enjoy myself. After all, this is a vacation, right? <laughs> her voice acting sounds like she's opening her mouth too wide. <laughs> Ezra Wickford, the original owner, must have been This is the old voice actor. This was a new one recently, and it caused an uproar in the Nancy Drew universe. Strange dead end corridors, for one thing. And I noticed one of the towers is totally different from the other ones. Of course, I'll have to save some time to meet Jacques Brunet, the French ski instructor. Oh, Jacques Best Brunet. should be the first to know if he's half as gorgeous right. in person as he looks on his website. So, George, I guess things never quite go according to plan. But at least this time, the culprit is just a snowstorm. Talk to you soon. Love, Nancy. This was the first Nancy now Drew game. Now need is a mailbox. I ever played. Route 205. Have a locker. Five one seven for three ten. I don't have a notebook. Hopefully we can remember that. <laughs> Everyone worked really hard on remembering that. Oh my gosh. The play screen is so small. I forgot about this in the older games. Sassy detective! Game ambient sound is really loud. Dear George, so much from my Wisconsin ski vacation. I arrived here. That's as quiet as I can get it, but I can turn it down. Uh, give me a second here. Just a 
Okay. Yeah, just... Game audio is just gonna have to be kind of quiet. I don't know what's going on with the freaking game and my mic. Okay. I will try to talk louder than usual. <clears throat> It was working last night just fine with the Discord and, and the, the everything, and now it's, and the camera wasn't working last night, and now the camera's working just fine. And the mic is like, meh, meh, I don't think so, no. All right, so this is about fingerprints and the oils and yeah. <clears throat> Scream, Sassy Scream. At least they have like the words and stuff down here. I have a broken radiator. Oh. 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 Pre cell phone. <laughs> I can call Ned and I can call George and I can call the opera. Baby back ribs with creature of the night barbecue sauce. Right. I want that barbecue sauce. That sounds good. Something smoking chili cheese dog. Better than nothing. Broccoli surprise. Anchovy heaven. Caesar salad with eternity of garlic croutons. <laughs> Wait, can I take this? Okay. Ah, oh, the dial tone. The dial toll. Yes. Let's go explore. Okay. Okay. Seven fifty for a chili cheese dog. <laughs> you guys are on opposite sides. <laughs> Too dark. I should take the elevator. It's too dark. Because this is pre cell phone era and we didn't all have a flashlight in our pockets. Marie Antoinette. I, this takes me so long to remember where all the arrows are for everything for getting around. You're, you're being sarcastic. Okay, good. I don't actually buy chili cheese dogs, so I wouldn't know. Can you handle the view? That's a weird slogan. Peppercliff Farms. Oh! I really enjoyed our, um, our tree pun sprint today. That was fantastic. Ski Wisconsin! La Pierre Chateau, the oldest chateau in Lake Pond, Wisconsin. Wickford Castle, 1923, Butter Ridge Ski Resort, Land O'Lakes, Wisconsin. This is tourist country here. Okay, yeah, yeah, Hello, good sir. Hello, Miss Drew. Did you get squared away upstairs? His voice is really loud. Okay. All squares right. need a stamp, or my room is charming, but I think there's something wrong with my radiator. Yes, oh, thanks, Mr. Egan. My room is charming, but I think there's something wrong with my radiator. It hisses, and there's a clanging noise, too. Would you mind checking it out for me? Sorry about that inconvenience, but you're just gonna have to sit tight for a while. I'm the only one on duty while the owner's away, and around here it seems like even if it ain't broke, it still needs fixing. Last time I checked, there were only 24 hours in a day, and now to make matters worse, there have been a couple of incidents. Ah, I want to turn his voice down, or turn the voices down. We'll get there. What, what kind of incidents? Someone vandalized our historic library. Really turned the place upside down. The owner, Miss Lane, what was that? she's going to be pretty upset. Oh, hey, pervy cat. Thank you for the follow. Welcome to the Skittle Squad. Can we kill? This is Nancy Drew. We don't kill people in Nancy Drew. <laughs> Why would anyone want to vandalize the library? Why would anyone want to vandalize the library? I have no idea. 
I straightened up in there before check-in yesterday and everything was fine. Now it looks like a bomb went off. Books everywhere and somebody hacked a big hole in one of the walls. I locked the place up and called the police, but who knows when they'll be able to get here. A hole in the wall? Wow, a hole in the wall? What do you <laughs> nice think job, they were looking kid. for? I can't tell, but She's somebody's so, definitely like, after something. Fake. <laughs> we could. <laughs> I've never killed anybody in Nancy Drew except myself. Um, maybe you have to let me know how that... Somebody's definitely after something. How do you know? Well, this Professor Hotchkiss <laughs> just called me in a terrible flap, saying our room's been robbed. I went up there, but she wouldn't open the door to talk about it. Wouldn't even tell me what was missing. So what's she want me to do about it? Sounds like you're Let's swamped, help, Mr. Egan. Because we help Is there the any time. way I can help? Well, Hotchkiss has a pair of ski boots in the basement. The Frenchman's been working on them for her, <laughs> but he won't deliver them. Says he's a <laughs> ski instructor, not a bellhop. I hate to ask this, but if you could grab those boots and bring them up to her, we will make it this man might like smooth us. her feathers. We are sure would smooth friendly, mine. Friendly help. Okay, see ya, Mr. Egan. You're a trooper. Thanks, Mr. Egan. She sounds like a high schooler. Which I guess in the books, I mean, she was, I don't think she was a high schooler. She was pretty young, though. I know! I'm so excited for the new one to come out. I haven't... I know they've been releasing, like, some environments and everything, but I think the only one I saw was the coffee shop, I think is what it was. But I'm so happy they're finally releasing a new one. A book of shelf. Major figures and events of the French Revolution, book two. There were really enough of them to have two books? Storming the Bastille. Okay, how can there be enough of them to have at least two books if this is all you're giving them is like two pages? That seems hinky. How do I get away from this book? <laughs> I can't close the book. Wait. Oh man, okay. It's been so long since I played this. This is bad. Oh, there's book one. All right. Because if we this before, I know we'll need that later, but I'm not going to get into it now. Zephyr. Hi, oh. I'm Lisa. Did you hear what happened? Hi, Lisa. Someone broke into the library and vandalized it. <gasps> Dexter locked it up. He's saying the culprit must be one of us cool. in the castle. Can you believe it? Oh, you just played that. <laughs> I was like, why did she just say cool? <laughs> That's great. Why would it be one of us? Apparently, the only guests who made it here before the blizzard set in are you, me, and Professor Hotchkiss. Uh, and then there's the on-staff suspects, Dexter, our friendly desk clerk, and Jacques Brunet, ski oh, instructor the extraordinaire. Down. What do you know about Professor Hotchkiss? Oh my gosh, wait till you hear this. Hotchkiss is this nutty old woman who's always typing and talking to herself in her room. I was walking past her door earlier, and I heard her screaming that her room had been robbed. Perby Cat, what's your favorite, um... So oh, no, I didn't. I didn't know they had a... I didn't know there was a Discord. <laughs> Crap. I have so much catching up to do. I was just gonna ask you what's your favorite one. This is the first one I ever played, but I don't know that it's my favorite. Wow, did she say what was stolen? Not that I could hear. She just kept wailing, my theory, my theory. I think she teaches history, or maybe a foreign language. I thought I heard a couple of French words pop out of her mouth. But don't quote me on that either. I only barely passed Spanish in high school. Do you have a theory about all this? Hardly. I'm just a humble photojournalist covering weird old mansions in the Midwest. And mm. this place is one of the weirdest. Did you know Ezra Wickford, the original owner, shut himself away in here for like 50 years? No, tell me more. No. You must know a great deal about this place. Not really, but I sure want to get into that tower that came from France. It'd be great for my story. Too bad Wickford sealed it off. 
Maybe it's his ghost making those creepy noises at night. You have a sensationalist, sensationalist mind, Lisa. What noises? Oh, okay. just your average bump in the night sound effects. It's probably just Dexter trying to spook up the hotel for the publicity. I mean, did we stumble onto okay. the set of As the Castle Are we Turns or what? Episode? Well, you probably want to get settled. I wonder what we're going to do with ourselves while we're all cooped up in this place. I'll let you get back to your magazine. Stay warm. Okay, bye. Whoops, okay, I want this. Dear George, so much for my Wisconsin ski vacation. I arrived. All right. <clears throat> Hopefully that'll be a little bit better. Sorry that the sound is all weird tonight. Let's see if I can remember how to do anything. Oh, oh, okay. Pretty sure. Wow, it's been it's been years since I played this, and I still remember how to get to the, all, all the places. Maybe we should not do that. Yeah, we won't mess with any of this yet. <laughs> I'm not a troublemaker, no sir. Okay, where's my arrow? Here it is. Oh no, you know the numbers! I'm not that cool. <laughs> 11, 23, 25, 29, and 30. Let's see, this is 34. Nope, I don't know. <laughs> you know, it's a good idea learning the numbers though, because the names are so janky. It's like mystery of, curse of. I think this one's the only treasure in, secret of, shadow of, you know, it's just, I mean, at a certain point you're just like, alright, who's the main character? <laughs> where am I, where am I staying, actually? That's the question to all of them. Where, where is Nancy staying? And that's how you know which game it is. Oh. A paintbrush. Hello? I would like to rent some skis. Must be gone. Please? Skis? Oh, I forgot I have a, a watch in this now. Um, it's late. No wonder he's gone. Okay. What was our... It must be over here somewhere. It's 310, I think. Oh, no. Oh, shit. Uh, okay. This game was the first time I ever, ever ran into a, <laughs> a combination lock like this. And I swear I was stuck on this for the longest time because we just didn't, we didn't have them in my school. Um, like, it just wasn't a thing. <laughs> so it took me a long time to figure this out. Uh, let's see if I can remember how to do this. Which button do I press? Curse of Blackmore Manor. Okay, I think that one is actually my actual favorite. Yes. Shadow of the Water's Edge is good. It's creepy. Like the uh, the bathroom part always scares me. Alibi and Ashes. Really? I think I've only played that one once. I can't remember anything about it. Must be time to replay it. The Silent Spy. That one is good. I like, uh... The Shattered Medallion. I thought that 30 might have been the Shattered Medallion, but I couldn't remember anything about the name of it. Or what it's about. Except it has Sunny June in it. That's all I remember. Ooh! Sure! I think we... Yeah. Yeah, we definitely allow links. So, yeah, if you wouldn't mind, that would be awesome. Do I press this button or this one? Must be that one. I think, was I supposed to go all the way around? Yeah. Combination is five, one, seven. Because I don't know how to work it's combination locks. <laughs> I wonder if the lock is Maybe broken. it's not me. Okay, maybe it's not me. Okay. <laughs> we'll go with that. It's not my fault. Elevator. Darth Vader's lesser known wife. 
Yeah, I hate I have to look at the call button the whole time. Thank you. Um, we are gonna do a little. Actually, I will come back to that later. Ooh. Oh, we're just gonna break out. <laughs> okay. Nancy's just a little bit crazy. She'd rather uh, go on top of the elevator instead of in it. I I did not know you could get into this this early in the game. Wait, 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 go back. Can I go can I go that way? No. Oh hey! I found the library! <laughs> I totally forgot. I didn't know you could get into that that early. I thought that you had to like get to a certain point before you could do this. <laughs> Welcome back, Biscuit! <laughs> We have broken into the library, uh, through event. Oh, shit. <laughs> okay, okay, I hear you. Darn, you crazy old man. I know you hid that thing around here somewhere. Fried chicken, ham, and cheese sandwich. Wow. That's industrious of you. I had, um... The least you could have done was left me a hint. Instant ramen for dinner. That's good, though. That's good. <sighs> I don't have time to clean this up. Most suspicious. Most suspicious indeed. You mentioned an old man. <clears throat> okay, I guess we're just going straight. Okay, now we can move. Okay, but we'll start here. Looking for little red symbols here. The Diary of Hans Oxel von... Person? Person? Uh, chicken. Hans Oxel von Person was a Swedish-French soldier and diplomatic agent who became a close friend of Queen Marie Antoinette during the early 1780s and went on to work for the counter-revolutionary movement after 1789. After Antoinette's execution in 1793, von Persen wrote about her every year on the anniversary of her death until his own death in 1810. Many scholars have concluded that he must have been in love with her. His diary recounts his political movements during this time and provides us with valuable historical insight into the political climate in France at the end of the 18th century. Wow. That's kind of cool. Chicken is the best one. I don't mind the beef, but the chicken has the right amount of salt. We're not going to read through this yet. Okay. Ooh. Wait, that's... Okay, here we go. An Atlas of the United States by J. Putnam. Jay, look at you writing shit. Okay, we're learning all about Wisconsin. Congratulations, everybody. <laughs> you've you've done learned about Wisconsin. Sure is dusty. You're a regular sleuth, Nancy. That is actually crazy there. Like that that always looks like a claw to me. Like a, like someone just fucking werewolfed it. Marie Antoinette. Wait. Okay. Do be her. You only write atlases. <laughs> oh, yeah, okay. Huh, it looks like a struggle. True Stories Behind Famous Portraits by C.B. Brown. Oh, hey, look, it's that portrait! Of the many great portraits painted by Marcel Bonnet during his career, none has fueled more controversy and gossip than this portrait of Marie Antoinette, which was completed only months before the revolution broke out. It all began when King Louis the... 16th? Marie Antoinette died in 1789. Bigger than any diamond ever before worn by French royalty. Maria was horrified by the tiara's extravagance and refused to wear it. It's even rumored that she referred to it as my crown of ruination, though no one knew what she meant by this. When it came time to have her portrait painted by the master Bo Bonnet, I, th I think, I 
What? It's hard for me to read this. Marie insisted on posing away from the palace at Versailles in the tower room of the Chateau Rochemont, where she often visited to escape the growing turmoil in Paris. Further, the queen refused to be painted wearing the tiara. King Louis was furious, but Marie would not budge. She chose to ornament herself with a purple rose instead, not just a flower, but a symbol of her willful defiance of her husband's wishes. When the portrait was finished, she gave it to the Rochemonts in appreciation of their loyal friendship. Shortly thereafter, the revolution erupted in full. When Marie Antoinette and her husband were arrested, the queen refused to reveal the whereabouts of the tiara. Even after her execution, neither the tiara nor the magnificent jewels it contained were ever found. To this day, speculation and heated debate continues about what became of the crown of ruination. The painting is now in the hands of a private American collector. Hey! Hey! Private American collector! It's right here. The painting is right here. Nice. Presence of royalty. Art. Art royalty. A sly rabbit will have three openings to its den. Yeah, I can see Ooh! Okay, it's got it's got buttons. Uh, <laughs> wait. Oh, buttons and all right, cool. My fillet, <laughs> my carefully salted fillet. I don't even know where the <laughs> fuck it went. Welcome in, Opaliso. Thank you for filleting us with that sound alert. The fillet. Okay. Away we go. Guess what game went on sale yesterday? Oh, what? What game? Purple Hearted Queen by Hotchkiss. Oh! As in Professor. Huh. Cool beans, cool beans. It's a boat in a Okay, that's great. And the front door, which I don't think we should go out. I think we should go... Nope, nope, not that way. Oh my god, the arrows. I forgot that about this game. I can't go that way. Okay. Well! <laughs> what game, Opal? Golf with your friends. Did it really just go on sale? Awesome! Oh! Well, I am always down to play golf with your friends. We could play that. It's stuck. Shit. Isn't that my way back into the elevator? Shit. No, this is my way back into the elevator. Okay. Yes, we can play that. Whenever. Very excited. Maybe we should try and push for that on Friday. Unless Opal's too busy going to the gym. Or some other such nonsense. Sound of typing. Oh, typing went away. Oh, it just goes by one. I'm so lost. I don't know where the elevator went. Came out. Ooh, a door! Dead end. Oh. <laughs> Damn it. I suppose I should try to put my arm through it like in the game last night. 205. It's locked. Is this my room? Am I in 205? Boy, this mystery is getting more mysterious by the minute. Oh, this is my room. That's my, that's my exit. Okay. I lost the typing. Where did the typing go? Okay, I already went this way. Um. Okay, the typing was down here. Yes. Um, I am feeling more energetic. I only got, like, three hours of sleep last night, so not that energetic, but, uh, I am definitely starting to get better, it's just- Hit the wall. <laughs> it's just a slow process. <clears throat> I should be able to make it through the stream without having to blow my nose or have a coughing fit. Hopefully. 
this out. That's all you need, right? Right then. That's pretty. Ooh. Another painting of Marie Antoinette. Where where's there's the arrow? Maybe I need my internet to go out so I can sleep. <laughs> I'm sure that's what was causing the problem, is all the internet in the air. Yeah. Yeah, that's why I couldn't sleep last night. Okay, we can just look at that, I guess. <coughs> Spoke too soon. <laughs> Wait, I want to go into the... I want to go into that one. That one. Ooh. Hey, look! This one goes nowhere. Another dead end! Yay! Okay. It's like, it is late. It's late. Uh. Right, okay. And then we go this way, and then, uh. This. Trano. Uh. Uh, no. Uh, where is my room? <laughs> God dang! There's a lot of dead ends in this place. Um. Okay. Okay, I'm on the wrong hallway. Wait, no, that's too far. <laughs> Where is my room? It should be one of these. 210 to 214. I'm in. Am I in 210? Oh, no worries, Pervy Cat. You are totally allowed to lurk. Am I actually in 205? I might be. In, no, because my locker number is 310. I'm in 205. Um. But wait, that's where I just was. Over here. Right? Hey! Hey! My room! <laughs> it's here! I found my room! <laughs> oh, the stupid radiator. Oh, right. Wait, it's only- it's 4 p.m. Oh, I thought it was like in the morning. Shit. Shit! Um, wait. Isn't the- isn't the ski guy supposed to be open right now? Maybe I just got him on his lunch break or something? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Go! Go, damn you! I know. Even the new Nancy Drews aren't... Oh, she's gone. Is it actually a 4 p.m.? Oh, I never went this way. Shit. Even the new Nancy Drews are point and clicks. I don't think any of them are Wastas. The elevator. It's locked. The Drew of the Nancy variety. <laughs> yep, that's me. The Drew of the Nancy variety. Impersonating the uh, Skittle of Sassy variety. Hey, hey, hey! It's. Oh! Bonjour, mademoiselle. <laughs> Je m'appelle Jacques Brunet. So, what brings you to beautiful Wisconsin? You do not seem like you should be in Wisconsin, my dude. Um. Here Hi, we go. I'm Nancy. Right to the point. I came to ski, but it looks like I'm going to have to find other ways to entertain myself. I told Mr. Of Eden she I would sounds bring kind Professor of suggestive when she says that, doesn't she? Are they ready? Uh, I have yes, to find other ways to entertain uh, myself, I guess. you should be by the fire, sipping wink, wink. cocoa, Nancy. <laughs> Not running errands for Dexter. Why is it you American girls never know how to separate business from pleasure? The cheese, you're right, yeah. 
Trust me, Jean. I know how to take care of myself. <laughs> yes, Everything she says is suggesting. Joe. <laughs> <laughs> no. Wait. Oh, wait. He did give me the boots. Okay. We're going to take the elevator so I don't get lost again. Oh, it's already here. Fuck. I'm just having one of those days, guys. I've been like that all day. Yesterday, I remembered to pack my spoon for my, my lunch yogurt, but I forgot the, the yogurt. And today, I made such a big point of remembering the yogurt that I forgot my planner. <laughs> Been doing really good this week. Really, really good. Um... Follow the sound of typing. I don't remember what. Here we are. Yes, hello! Is that Jacques with my boots? I think Professor Hotchkiss is like my favorite character in the Nancy Drew universe. She's just hilarious. Actually, it's Nancy Drew, but I do have your boots for you. Oh, good. Uh, boots, fine. Uh, thank you, thank you. Everything is fine. Uh, just leave the boots at the door, please. Hmm. Ooh, and it seems I'm out of change. I'll just have to tip you the next time, Mandy. Okay. No tip is necessary, Professor Hodgkiss. I don't actually work here. My name's Nancy Drew. <laughs> I heard your room was robbed, and I'd like to find out what was taken so that Mr. Egan can report it. Everything's under control, dear. Nothing to report. Uh, thank you for my boots. My poor feet have been feeling so exposed. Why are you wearing your ski boots? <laughs> Just to... Okay. Okay. I guess she's not wearing her ski boots is the point, right? Okay. <gasps> I missed it. <laughs> Vod, how are you doing this evening? Been a minute since we chatted. Oh, actually, I want to go down the stairs. Oh my god. This is going to be a lot of just random clicking looking for the arrows. But this setup kind of reminds me of the Curse of Blackmore Manor, so now I really want to play that one too. Can I oh. help you? I About delivered the boots, radiator, sir. Mr. Egan. Do you think you'll be able to fix it anytime soon? Sorry, not yet. Hotchkiss called to report that she got her boots. But now I'm told that the light is out in the back stairwell. Could you check the circuit breaker in the basement and make sure it's working? Yes, I so can. So how long have you been working here? I am a people a pleaser and I will do whatever it takes. Okay, see ya, Mr. Egan. You're a trooper. Oh god, that reminds me. Um... I... Wait, did we even explore this direction? I can't remember. We found the elevator. That's what we did. We found the elevator. It's locked. <gasps> Gasp. I guess we'll just take the elevator down. <laughs> this is the worst hotel ever. <laughs> I was saying. I was telling a story, but it doesn't matter. Weren't we on the... Oh, no, we were on the ground floor. That's right. Okay. Okay. So that's the elevator reset. Do we just... There's no labels. Do I just flip? <laughs> what am I doing? There's no labels. What? Uh, okay. Everything is on. Everything is on. That's. Okay, I'm just gonna pull this. Um. Okay. <laughs> we checked the breakers. I guess. Oh my god, I did that last time. I'm just, it's a real Sad. blonde day, you know? It just is. It's just. Uh. 
Okay, so he said it is a fact that the game. I broke the elevator. Okay. So what we should be doing is going through. I I broke the elevator. Going through and comparing our game to other to our reference material, looking at what isn't in our game. Uh. Wait, are these all off? Do they need to be this way? No, that's on. On. Those were facing that way, I think. Fuck if I know. There's no fucking labels. Essentially, yeah. How how am I? Wait, what's this direction? I never went this way. Come on, come on. Sneaking around. Hello there, dead end. No. Oh. My name's Nancy <laughs> Drew. Just introduced myself to a dead end. Definitely feeling the blonde. Although I think Nancy is a redhead. From what I remember of the books. Is the elevator working? Yes! Elevator's working! Yay! Shaky girl. Come here. I see you heading my way. Making your way downtown. Walking fast. Yep. I know your type. Furry and soft. And full of purrs. Yeah. Yeah, that's your type. Um, this way. Hi, kitty cat. Alright, time for your debut. For the evening. Hey! She's purring, but I don't know if the mic's picking it up. Sorry. Did you figure out the problem with the circuit breaker? Well, I didn't fix it. God damn it. Okay. Bye, yeah, Mr. Egan. Bye, kiddo. Oh, Shaky Biscuit just gave you a hundred bits. She can't say it because she's too overwhelmed, but thank you. Yeah, she's too overwhelmed. With the biddies. The kitty biddies. Kitty biddies. Yep. There she is. She's too shy to even look at the camera. See, she's overwhelmed by the bits. <laughs> Her tail is fine, though. <laughs> Do I have to seriously, like, flip breakers and go... Okay, thank you. <laughs> go back and forth and see when it fixes the light? Because that's janky. I don't like that. Wait, it's already here. It's already up here. She is being really cute. She actually was, um, sitting in... in boxes yesterday a lot. It was adorable. Doing the if it, if it fits, I sits thing, which she's never really done before, which is what made it really cute. Okay. I think those are probably the the lights in question. Unless that was the elevator. I guess we'll find out. Where's my arrow? Did you say you failed last time you did this room? Yeah. I'm just that first person. I just have just oh, I guess. lots of cat in my face. Yes. Are you in my face? Yes. These games are why I just get lost in games now. Because this is my introduction to having to find my way around a game. Did you figure out the problem with the circuit breaker? Mm. Hmm. I guess I haven't gotten around to it yet. Hmm. That's a shame. Okay. That's See a you, shame. Mr. Egan. Goodbye. I know, but I thought they were all on the on side, is the problem. I thought everything was on the on side. And and now I'm questioning everything I know about circuit breakers, which I I have you know worked with IRL before. You know I've I've done the thing you the, the, the breaker flips and you go and you flip it back. And, but see, I'm married to somebody who labels everything, <laughs> and there are no labels on that box. It's very sloppy. 
I don't know what kind of place you're running here, Dexter, but... I can't read what they say. <sighs> okay, so let's just say on. This is off. So everything is flipped to the on side right now. We should have a week build, if not a day build. <laughs> yeah, after so many years of playing video games now, I should be alright with it. You would think so. Everything's to, to on. Because this says off, and that says on and off. Hmm. Now, what is the mean? <laughs> yeah, I just can't find it. That's some shit, man. Especially because I can't read it. Ugh. Where even is the back stairway in comparison to this area? This is the stairway, okay. That is still an annoying amount of clicks when I could just be fucking labeled. Like any sane person does with their breaker box. All right, we're gonna do this one. And we're gonna go check. I know, I know, Shaky. That one. Well, it's our, it's our best way of showing that we're actually getting it together, so. This is lame. Hmm. Oh my goodness, cat. Yes, are you rolling over and being cute? I wish you would do that. I wish you I wish you would have done that when I had the camera that lower. Because now people can't see you at all. Can't do that one. We're gonna do the. What is the? It's not that one. <laughs> we'll try this one. <laughs> we know the other one is the elevator, so it's not that. It's too dark. I should take the elevator. You should take the elevator. Hi, shaky girl. <laughs> okay, that's the lights. So it's one of these. One of these three. Start at the bottom. Don't knock my phone off the table. <laughs> wait, wait. Yes. Oh, no. Biscuit, no. Don't say that. Maple and I were both sick in D&D &D last night. You can't... We... God damn it, Dexter. <laughs> I finally got it fixed. And he's gone. The dude is gone! Time to snoop! Let's see, is there anything I can steal? Can I steal anything in here? A key! Yes, I'll steal that. Uh, a steno book. To do list Snow plows. Try to reach Christy again. Change library alarm code. You change the code. Change bulb and tower. Is my oh my phone is ringing. Replace filter in vent shaft. Keep searching. Get boots back to prof. Check basement circuit breaker. Get dimmer dinner orders from guests. Hopefully it doesn't stop by tomorrow. There was um there was a door. I, I, I okay. We're gonna pretend the door doesn't exist. It's fine. <laughs> yeah, Hi, cat. I went the wrong way. Oh my goodness, kitten. Mm -hmm. 
still didn't fix it. Son of a bitch. Dexter's there, guys. He's really standing me up here. Yeah. She got a hundred bits tonight. Just to give her a hundred bits? Yeah, it's candy bitties. <laughs> you hanging out, Mama. She's just looking at me slowly. It is Labrador laboratory. <laughs> Labradoratory. <laughs> oh god, I did that. I'm sorry guys. <laughs> Labradoratory. <laughs> it's funny though, you gotta admit. God damn. What is this? You know I'm just I'm just gonna fucking go to sleep. There's nobody to talk to. There's nothing to do. Why am I here? I missed my dinner. Dexter never got my order because I was too busy running around with a circuit breaker. I'm just gonna go to sleep. Um, bright and early. All right. I do enjoy the White Wolf of Bicycle Creek too. That one is is fun. I think I went the wrong way. I did. Dexter! I fixed things for you. <laughs> yes. I don't want to pass We're just the mystery pester. again, but <clears throat> the, the radiator. Pester. Thanks for dealing with the circuit breaker. Okay, we're really making progress here, kid. So, you go up to Hotchkiss's room and see what she wants for dinner. She's not answering her phone. No problem, boss. Nancy is the kind of person who will just end up working through every vacation because she just volunteers to do everything. Like a lunatic. I think, uh, nope, nope, I went the wrong way. She's this way. Uh, this one. That one. <laughs> Ugh! Virginia Woolf never endured such interruptions! <laughs> Who is it? Hi, Professor. I thought you might be getting hungry in there. Could I relay a dinner order for you? No, oh, hard to think of food candy when I'm riding the raging rapids of my theory. Oh, right now, I have plenty of pre-packaged energy globules to keep me going. But tell Baxter that I am developing a powerful craving for couscous. Couscous. Yes, couscous for dinner would be splendid. I'll have a nice tip for you next time, Fanny. <laughs> She's just so funny. <laughs> the Department of Caber. <laughs> yes. The professor says she has a hankering for, um, couscous. Couscous? <laughs> Never heard of it. Tell her to order something off the menu. He's getting okay. real comfortable See bossing you, Mr. Me around. Bye, I'm kiddo. A little upset. I don't even know what couscous is. Do you normally have it with something else? Wait, wait. No, wait. Go back. What if Lisa has something to say? Oh, she's not here. It doesn't matter. <laughs> doesn't matter. Um, we're gonna go, uh, um, yes. Yes? No. Yes. Yes. It's a type of pasta. Oh, really? I like pasta. Why have I never heard of, heard of couscous? Oh, yeah, that's right. I live in Montana. 
probably be shocked if you ever ordered something that sounded like couscous. You'd be like, what the? Yeah, <laughs> get out of here, demon. <laughs> we don't like your kind around these parts. <laughs> Damn city folk. <laughs> <laughs> Ugh, it's like the North Pole out there. No, Nancy, this is just winter. Is it nine? No, but at nine, oh. take that shit. Can you help me remember when it's nine? Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Guys, help me remember when it's nine. My camera's not over here anymore, it's over here. <laughs> A North African dish. Oh, there's no fucking way, there's no way it's served anywhere in this entire state. <laughs> <laughs> You'd be surprised, there might be a list. <laughs> I really doubt it. Well, Jacques is still asleep because he's a lazy bones. So, lazy, lazy. I mean, my God. It's, uh. How does this clock work? This isn't right. <laughs> okay, where's my arrow? You've had it? Is it any good? Okay, this way is Hotchkiss. Oh, your mom makes it sometimes? That's so cool! I think the most ethnic, ethnic food my family makes is... Tacos? Enchiladas? Mom's enchiladas are pretty good. Oh, they have this weird... They have this weird habit of saying, um... Rotel, when they mean, like any kind of tomato sauce or something. Like, they don't realize Rotel is a brand and not a type of food. It's a little weird. They have a lot of weird things like that. Is that my couscous already? Yes, couscous. Sorry, Professor, but there's no couscous, the couscous in the couscous house. is coming. You'll need to choose something from the hotel menu. Well, I don't have a menu. At least not from this hotel. Oh, oh, be a doll and, and fetch me one, will you, Tata? I have one right here. I, I, did you get the menu? Sure did. Yes. How about opening the door so I can give it to it's you? Pretty good. Oh, you're a sneaky one. Why? Just slip it under the door, please. <laughs> Why can't you open nice your door? Nice and easy. No funny stuff. She's just so silly. I just, I don't know why I love uh, her so much. Oh, baby back ribs, yeah. So, chili cheese dog, uh, 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 fried bologna sandwich. Uh, I am not usually much of a meat eater, but uh, uh, very well. Fifty drumsticks, please. Uh, chicken, that is. <laughs> cluck, cluck. <laughs> cluck, cluck. Fifty drumsticks? Sure. Fifty drumsticks. Whatever makes you happy. Rock and roll, dear. <laughs> oh my god. Who's cooking this food? Is it Dexter cooking the food? Or is there like a hidden chef somewhere that we never meet? Can I help you? The professor has changed her order. Seems she's developed an appetite for chicken drumsticks. Fifty of them. Okay then. Drumsticks we got. Oops. But I guess Jock better take that bag of chicken legs out of the freezer. Will you tell him? And then take the rest of the day off, kid. <sighs> Your radiator's yeah. as good as Thank fixed. God. Okay. I really needed See a day you, Mr. Off, Egan. Man. You're a trooper. I've been working for hours. Uh oh. He's not here yet. Jacques is still asleep at this point. Um More adventures in the elevator? Sure. What are you doing in the elevator? <laughs> <laughs> um, climbing out of it regularly. <clears throat> what is this key for? I haven't even looked for any kind of key. Probably for the library. <laughs> Sorry, no, my headphones are still on. Favorite brand of tomato sauce is Tutoroso. Wow, I've never even heard of that. That sounds... That sounds quite fancy. Tutoroso. Hmm. 
Well, I see nothing's changed in the elevator. Elevator shenanigans. <laughs> Perhaps we need to adjourn to a different floor. Uh, let's see, we're on the first floor currently. What's it look like from the second floor? <laughs> oh, um, we seem to be stuck. Yes, hello? Alley-oop. <laughs> we just alley-ooped our way out of there. Alley-oop. Hey, Dexter. If it isn't Nancy Elevator can do again. Drew, I'll get on that radiator right away. But be sure to tell Jock to defrost a chicken, okay? Jock is still asleep. Or getting ready for work or something. Whatever he, I was he in does, the elevator and it got stuck counter. between floors. I had to climb out the top and I just barely made it up to the floor above. By an alley -oop. Do you think you'll be able to fix it? Well, I doubt it's broken. I'll check the power switch in the basement. Glad you're okay. But don't go climbing around the elevator shaft anymore. You're right. It's dangerous I should in there. Just okay. I See you, Mr. Egan. Bye. Died. Man. Is nobody awake yet? Apparently, oh no, that's the wrong way. Ha, huh, I can learn. All oh, right, it's broken. <laughs> Fuck, I just broke the thing. And I'm all like, oh, here, let's go get the elevator and, and go downstairs again. <sighs> I should take the stairs anyway, it's, it's healthier for me. My digital form here. Oh my god. Let me, let me go. Reset the elevator. And... God. There we go. Okay. Hello! Oh, Nancy. Como se va? Tell me about these boxes you're making. When I am not skiing, I need some other way to express myself. So voila! I make these hot boxes for keeping secrets safe. I'm sure you have many secrets, Nancy. Do you know what happened in the library? I heard it was vandalized. Nancy, a pretty girl should not worry herself with this type of thing while she is on vacation. <sighs> it must be lonely living so far from home. Don't you miss your family? Yes, but I am here for Isabelle, mon petit chou. She is an American studying at the university in Madison. And I've asked her to marry me. Oh, how romantic. Dexter needs you to defrost that big bag of chicken legs. Oh, la, 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 what does he think I am? A sous chef. What? Okay, defrosting a bag of chicken legs does not a sous chef make. Dexter told me the combination to my locker, number 310, is 517. I tried it, but the locker won't open. Hmm, Dexter must be confused. Because I think that is the combination for number 311. I'll try 311. I'll How talk you... to you later. A bientôt. Is it actually diamonds and carbonated soda? That makes no sense. Mm -hmm. F? One? You know another good one is the last train to Blue Moon Canyon. That one is good. Hey, my stuff. Not my stuff. Not my stuff. Not my stuff. Helen Carp. Wait, Lisa's stuff. Oh, she's a spy. She's a spy. Whoa. This is in Spanish. Didn't she say she couldn't speak Spanish? Lies. Lies and slander. All around. How do I get out of here, please? I just... Oh, I have to close it. Diamonds are carbon-based, so if you turn them back into carbon dioxide and compress them into water, it makes carbonated water. <laughs> you know... I've never thought of 
carbonated water, like carbonated anything like containing carbon. I don't know why. That just makes sense. Like that's what carbonated means. Oh, Nancy. Como se va? I'll talk to you later. Ciao. Goodbye. I have a journalist to interrogate. Up on the stairs. Damn it! Go! <laughs> Dexter. Did you see I fix your radiator? Okay. No, but I'll see you, Mr. Egan. Alrighty then. On the radiator. Since Lisa is not here. Um. Okay. Right is Hotchkiss. Left is me. Okay. Getting this, guys. Ooh, it's all quiet and stuff in here now. Check the wind. Alright, I got myself a bottle of oil. Why would they have the power switches in the middle of everywhere? <laughs> You're not supposed to ask questions like this. Questions that make sense. It's the same thing as why would they not label their power switches? Hmm? Hmm? Oh, Professor. Is that you, Brandy? Yes, oh, I'm I glad Brandy. you're here. At the moment, my theory is rising like a magnificent souffle. Don't worry, Brandy will help you. I need to collect you. a few more ingredients, if you will, but it's a delicate situation. If I leave my room even for a moment, I fear the souffle will come crashing down in a heap. So dramatic. Oh, I have an answer here. <laughs> What do you need me for, Professor? What I need is some information about the castle. Hard numbers. Uh, I've come to the conclusion that you are an enterprising and oh, faithful excellent. soul. That's what I was hoping for. Therefore, I, took your order for I have decided points. to entrust you with this important mission. Who knows? If you succeed, I might whisk you away from the hotel business to be my personal research assistant. Well, <laughs> Professor Hodgkiss, I'm not actually in the hotel business, but I'd love to help. Marvelous! Here's what I need to know. Okay. On what date was the Bastille prison destroyed during the French Revolution? I'll be very eager to hear what you come up with. But please, don't disturb me unless you have the answer. I know which book this is in. It's in Figures of the French Revolution, Volume 2. Now you're here. Hi there, now how's it going? Here. What do you know about Jacques Brunet? Didn't you watch the last Winter Olympics? He's France's big cheese of skiing. The he holds the record cheese. for the 500 meter slalom, Where but he totally it? choked at the games. I guess he's washed up now, but at least his looks haven't gone down the tubes. You just keep that uh, horrible way of looking at people. <laughs> So tell me more about the life of a photojournalist. It must be very glamorous at times. Well, there's nothing glamorous about the pay, I can tell you that much. Does your job take you to exotic, far-off places? Well, there is a lot of travel. Too bad I'm so useless with foreign languages. There really? was a little yeah, mix-up so with the lockers, with and I accidentally opened yours. Yeah, and? It seems you have Regardless more than suspicious. one identity, Lisa. I'm just wondering if you are who you say you are. A savvy photojournalist always carries a couple of alternate identities, Nancy. When you're working under deadline, you don't always have time to play by the rules. I'm sure you know what I mean. Did you know Professor Hodgkiss published a book on Marie Antoinette? Yeah, I looked her up on the internet. The critics panned the book. Looks like other historians think she's a real quack. I'm oh. dying to find a way into that she's tower. Strange, but... Where do they usually hide the secret entrances in weird old Midwestern mansions? <laughs> I guess I should know, shouldn't I? Too bad most of the places I've covered aren't any weirder than imitation butter. She's got weird I wish things. you'd hurry up and find it, though, so we can check it out. I'll let weirder you get back to your magazine. Butter. Later, Nancy. What was I doing? I was on my way somewhere, and she was just happened to be in the way. Yes, making fake IDs is illegal. 
<laughs> Especially fake passports. She don't care. I was on my way to do something. I just finished talking to Jacques. Oh, I was getting the information for Hodgkiss. I can't believe it's not water. Do you remember those commercials? Here we go. Alright. July 14th, 1789. We got this. We got this. July 14th, 1789. Yes! Did you find the information I asked you for? <laughs> Make it a federal one. They have nice soup. You're... <laughs> sure did. You're Good, but I need that. you to write it down so I don't forget. Okay. July 14th. Was it just the year that she wanted, or was she looking for the whole day? We're giving her everything. Not your strong suit tonight. Thank you. Let ah, me do some calculations <laughs> to see if this is correct. I had hit enter. Eureka! If there's one thing I like in a young person, it's story. ingenuity. Now, I've got work to do. Time to stir the cauldron and stoke the fire. But if you'd like to talk, I'll be holding office hours in the lobby between 3 and 6 a.m. Between 3 and 6 a.m.? <laughs> okay. Yeah, sure. I'll just pop on down to the lobby at 3 in the morning. Sounds good. Um. I want to try that key. I think this, no, yeah, this is the right way. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, shit. <laughs> uh. <clears throat> okay. I remember this. I'm not trying to click buttons. Okay, so it's... Three... Well, well, well. Look who returned to the scene of the crime. You're out of here. <laughs> I'm surprised, Nancy. Usually you do your homework before you go barging into no trespassing zones. I should have known there was an alarm. Or maybe there was a more creative way I to get into the library. I have a creative way to get into the library. Better I just luck to next see time. If the key, if the key was the, the key. Okay, now I know the key is the key. I it's f f fuck. Although I do want to know what the code is. Uh, I don't know. Let's let's do it again. It was like. Three star something something. Here we go. Okay, this is annoying. Thank you, thank you. I'm here all night. We already looked around here though, there's nothing new, <laughs> I don't think. <laughs> Good job, everybody. There's the rose. Can I look at the rose? Guess not. I mean, <sighs> oh, I didn't look at this before. Ooh. Okay, there's a 
code there. <coughs> oh, did I look at this before? Oh yeah, because this is where Professor Hotchkiss's book is. Okay, um, I wonder if the code has to do with Hans Axel von Fersen. <laughs> Trouble in France continues to mount. The revolutionaries have forced the king and queen to return to the... Oh, I don't know this word. Tul Tuileries in Paris. Where they're living like virtual prisoners. I'm working with the counter-revolutionaries to help the royal couple escape to England. Everything's arranged. False passports. A carriage. Disguises. Just after midnight on Tuesday, the king and queen, dressed as servants, will slip out of the city by coach. I will be their driver. I've instructed Marie to bring her jewels with her. Marie. Wow, that's very familiar. Very familiar. If they're stopped, she may be able to bargain with the revolutionaries for diamonds for her life. I have no peace. I can have no peace until I know she's safe beyond, beyond the treachery of this revolution. Alas, what a cursed night. I had not expected that Commodore Labouf, Marie's most outspoken enemy, would be present at the checkpoint in Varenne. Marie tried to negotiate, but the scoundrel took her jewels and threw her at the mercy of, the, mercy of his revolutionary apes anyway. I was helpless to stop him. She and Louis were escorted back to Paris like common criminals. The situation is grim indeed. I still cannot speak to the Queen as she's kept under full-time surveillance. I'm awaiting orders from Vienna as to what to do next, but I fear that it may be too late to save Marie or her husband. The thought of her suffering destroys me. Okay, I thought there might be, like, coordinates or something in here, but there's not. So, that's not the book I'm looking for. Hmm. I didn't read Hotchkiss's book, but I don't think it's going to have anything. Favorite color was purple. There's not going to be anything in here. And then there's that puzzle, which doesn't make any sense. I just don't have any references yet, is the problem. I have... I, wait. An atlas. No, that's... Out of the corner of your eye, you spot him. Surprise, surprise! There's a gun to your head! And death in his eyes! <laughs> the Le Beau surprise. Biscuit, where is your book? Uh, the atlas. Huh, where'd you put it? Is this it? An atlas. Here we go. Yep, yep, I went there too. <laughs> 90... Okay, 45 north and 90 west. I don't know if that's really gonna help me. I don't think those were numbers on the... Oh my god, it worked! Okay, uh, okay, um, negative 15, 10, negative 5. We're solving shit! Negative 15, positive 10, negative 5. Okay, uh, negative 15. Positive 10. Negative 5. It sounded like something opening. I I don't see anything open. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> right? Nothing's nothing's different. Squeaky. Oh, okay. Oh, hello. Um, um, is there a light of some kind? Ooh, a lighter. That's excellent. Um, ooh, a candle. Excellent. Okay. <gasps> oh, a key! Great! That would've been really cool if it was the fireplace. <laughs> Oh my. The castle's been empty for many years now. These hallways just echo in vain. And oh how I miss you, my one-time son. My anger's dissolved into pain. I still don't know why you pilfered my wallet. The money could hardly have mattered. The $50 I'd have given you twice, but instead my poor heart you shattered. 
If only I could find you, we'd patch it all up. Talk through it as dad and son should. Perhaps you meant only to test my love. Perhaps you felt misunderstood. I want you to know that your old man forgives you. Old bygones are bygones with me. So I left you one keepsake to remember me by. You'll sure be delighted to see. Go out to the garden, my old thinking spot. My refuge in hours of dread. Your luck charm is stashed where no stranger would look in the back of my old troubled head. So this is goodbye, dear Dexter. Farewell. You offered me much needed joy, and I'll never forget all the laughter brought me, my darling young rascally boy. Dexter! Okay. Keepsake in the garden, which I can't get to because it's... It's snowing out. Oh no, what are we gonna do? I went skiing and it snowed. Oh. Oh, I can look at each of these. That's wonderful. Okay, I don't really need to look at those. I don't like those. <laughs> uh, oh, okay. Okay. When he was good, he was very, very good. Dexter, the sun in my life. Castle boy wins state spelling bee. Young Buckaroos National Council Certificate of Service. Huh, okay. Best Attendance Award. Father's Day 1944? How old is Dexter? When did this come out? <laughs> Demonstrating leadership among his peers in Vilas County Youth Recycling Project to help in the war effort. Is this game that old? Like, older than I think it is? When So that Dexter's age would actually work? When he was bad, he was horrid. When it rains, it pours. My son, the Vandal. Oof. Great Northern High School. Dear Mr. Wickford, we're sorry to report that your son Dexter was caught on school grounds last night throwing rocks at the gymnasium windows. This is the second time he's been caught attempting to destroy school property. We fear Dexter is becoming a danger to himself and others. We have no choice but to expel him. Damn. Dear Pop, I'm sorry for taking $50 out of your wallet without asking. I know it was wrong. I know you were very disappointed in me. I'm sorry. I'll never do it again. I'm sorry. Your son, Dexter. Sad excuse for stealing. Milwaukee Bank Police Nab Suspect Passing Phony Checks. Bank employees at the Milwaukee branch of First National Bank on 3rd Street helped police catch a young man who tried to cash counterfeit checks in their bank. The man came into the bank with phony checks and identification that matched everything on the checks. Bank employees noted the license plate and a description of the car, called police, and identified the young man after the Milwaukee police stopped the car. Jesus. The suspect has been identified as Dexter Egan, 18, of Butter Ridge, the adopted son of prominent chocolate milk tycoon, Ezra Wickford. <laughs> I'm sorry. Chocolate milk tycoon? <laughs> he had three different sets of false ID matching the checks. At 18, the kid is already like a pro. Egan was arrested on felony charges of possession of false ID for purposes of fraud, possession of counterfeit checks, attempting to pass checks, and conspiracy. If convicted, he could face a prison sentence of up to 20 years. As of last Friday, Egan was being held at the County Correctional Center on $50,000 bail, said a jail spokeswoman. As Rickford could not be reached for comment, nor has anyone come forward to post bail. Oof. No wonder why he vandalized the library, yeah. Chocolate milk. I'd rather see it burn. Dear Ezra, I've changed your will according to the directions you gave me in our meeting of May 21. In the event of your death, Dexter will have no recourse to inherit Whitford Castle. He disowned him. He will be unable to claim any association with or capitalize upon your name or reputation. I'm currently proceeding with your request to annul your adoptive relationship to Dexter. Holy shit. Wow. Holy shit. That's sad. Allow me to say how sorry I am to hear of Dexter's criminal conviction and to urge you not to blame yourself. I'm sure you did the best you could with Dexter, but some children just turn out to be bad eggs. Nonetheless, while your disappointment must be profound, I commend your prudence and pragmati pragmatism in the decisions you have made to protect your estate. Damn. No, I'm trying to close the book, actually. 
please. Let me close the book. Thank you. Holy shit. Dexter, we need words. Oh, it's over here now. Can I leave without the alarm going off? <laughs> Let me turn, damn it. Yeah, that got dark really fast. Still not working, huh? We really broke that thing. Unless it's down there and I'm just like walking around. Well, I'm on the same floor anyway, actually. I don't know why I thought I needed it. Hey, um. Can I help you? <laughs> so, did you grow up around here? Yeah, you did could you say grow that. up around here? Did you know the original owner, Ezra Wickford, when he lived here? You could say that. What was he like? They call it the past for a reason, okay? Because it's over. So, do you know if Ezra Wickford had a place where he liked to go and think? Some place he thought of as a refuge? There was a private area of the garden. Yeah. The entrance was hidden, so no one could bother him there. Do you think I could go check it out? Forget about it. There's nothing out there but dead weeds and crumbling statues. Were you allowed to go out there? Once in a while he'd bring me out there and teach me about his favorite flowers. But that was like a hundred years ago. Okay. See ya, Mr. Egan. <laughs> Goodbye. Okay. I have this ancient key now. That's gotta be to, like, the garden or something. Right? Um... I haven't run into anything else that's locked. Yeah, nothing else has been locked. So, um, just past one noon. I don't know. I guess we'll go see Jacques, and if he doesn't have anything new to say. I don't know. Do we just wait for Hodgkiss's office hours in the lobby at 3 a.m.? Oh, he's gone. Oh yeah, he takes a two-hour break in the middle of the day. <laughs> Must be nice. Okay. Wait. Uh, while I'm down here... Oh, it is working. I was just calling it from the floor. It was already on. Okay. <laughs> it's fine. There's something down there. Uh It's stuck. Wait. The elevator's in the way. Fuck. <laughs> uh. Okay. Uh, I need the elevator to be on a different floor. Um. We're on the basement. Floor, floor one. And then we get out. floor two. I guess I could have just left. Oh no, because I need to be in the shaft somehow. Wait, no. Don't leave the elevator. Don't do it! Uh, turn around, damn it. Okay, but... Um, you like cheese. Yes, Biscuit. We know. Um, wait, okay. Do I have to... Do I have to go break into the elevator, or the library? Go down the ladder? Okay, we'll try that. Um... Okay. I can take the elevator down to the library floor. the 
code again? It was like, um... Three star seven two? It locked. Oh yeah. We'll try it. We'll see if that works. I'm pretty sure it's those numbers, I just don't know in which order. Hey. Okay, okay, this is working. <gasps> Secret places! Secret places! What is this? Okay, I thought so. Literally no other way to say it. Puzzles <laughs> that I know of. Ooh, lucky guesses. Nice. I I want to know. Oh, that's the uh, the elevator door. Okay. Shit. <laughs> uh, is it different? It's different. Okay, <laughs> here we go. Where am I? Oh. Oh my goodness. It's locked. Wait, wait. Uh, yes? It's locked. No. Damn it. Hello, good sir. Thank you for the tip of the spear. I appreciate it. Ooh, wait. Let me in! That's where I just came from. Uh. Oh! Weird. Why are you in there? Uh, okay. And back around, alright. That's not a door you can go to, I guess? Okay, well, this room gave me a lot of. Uh, nothing, but thank you anyway. I will be back, I'm sure. That's where I just came from. Okay. So, this is stairs. Going to... Oh! Look at that! It's very obviously a door in the wall. <laughs> oh, right outside the library. Okay. That's a really roundabout way to get down there. That sucks. Ouch. All right. You know what? to do with that spear. <sighs> um, let's try and leave the elevator where it's at. No more using the elevator. We're taking the stairs. <laughs> so what'd you find in the library? <laughs> Please, Lisa. You know it's off limits. Oh, come on, Nancy. You've been on the prowl. I can tell by the sparkle in your eye. No. I honestly have no idea what you're talking about. Aw, you're no fun. When you researched this place, did you find any references to a secret garden? <laughs> <laughs> It's I mean, perfect. it's hardly croquet weather. I'll let you get back to your magazine. Croquet Keep me posted. Weather. Can I help um, you? Oh, 
Okay. No. See ya, Mr. Egan. No. Alrighty then. <sighs> I think it's time to go sleep for 12 hours. Yeah. Welcome to the witching hour. Isn't it marvelous to be up and about when others are sound asleep? I find my brain waves are at their most powerful Love during this time. Dress thing. <laughs> yes, I happen to do some of my best work in the middle of the night, too. <laughs> so tell me, Professor, what is this theory you're working on? Well, you probably know by now that I'm a scholar of French history. <laughs> my specialty is Marie Antoinette. Oh. Poor Marie, the most misunderstood queen of the 18th century. Marie used to visit the very tower that now belongs to this castle. I'm convinced that this place holds evidence that will forever change the way the world views Marie. But the walls have ears, so I'd rather not <laughs> say any more right now. Oh, if you're really interested, why don't you go up to my room and have a look around yourself? You've been such a great help to me, almost like an apprentice. <laughs> oh. I've always wanted an apprentice. Wow, Professor, that's really generous of you. I'd love to learn more about your work, but are you sure you don't mind? I insist! Your mind is like a ravenous monkey gobbling up every <laughs> banana in its path. Oh, how can I stand in the way? Here's my extra pass key. I get back to work at 6 a.m. sharp, so just make sure you vacate the premises by 5.59 and put things back where you find them. It's all scientifically organized in there. Okay. See you soon. right -o. Very scientific, I'm sure. Where's my arrow? Okay. Oh, right, she's not there. Well, we've been invited to Snoop. That's kind of fun. I never get invited to Snoop things. A pillow. Duh. <laughs> I assume there'll be something there at some point later on in the game. Um, yes, luggage. This is a suitcase. Baroness Helga von Hanseldorf. Marvelous to receive news of your progress. I'm sure you're onto something with important with the medallion and the stained glass window. But I think the significance of the medallion must go beyond the message you've seen. I've looked through my family letters, and it seems that when Maria Antoinette gave her niece, Helga I, my great-great-great-great-great-aunt, uh, the medallion, she told Helga to keep it safe, as it was part of a great truth that she hoped would someday help to heal the wounds of France. Helga urged her to explain this great truth, but this was all that Marie would divulge. The truth can seem hard and ugly at first, but eventually its hardness becomes a thing of eternal beauty. Okay. Ooh. Wait. Wait. Put it back. Testing. Can anyone hear me? Hotch kiss to Earth. Come in, Earth. <laughs> oh, okay. I think I think we're rolling. She's <laughs> so funny. Now, let's get a look at these hallways. So rich in detail. You'd never know this place was built in 1920. It's all so 18th C. Oh, and there's Marie. 
I feel so close to her, just being here. It's as if her spirit is in the air, sweet as the smell of fried chicken. <gasps> <gasps> what? Damn you, Hotchkiss. What? Oh. Charge it? I guess we'll charge it. Okay. The boots. Okay. Oh my goodness. Born November 2nd. A Scorpio like me. What a coincidence. No wonder she was so passionate. Austrian birth name Maria Antonia married off at 15 and she had to change her name too she must have been frightened her favorite color was purple like me I wonder if she adored chicken drumsticks <laughs> despite the elaborate hairstyles that were the fashion of the day Marie preferred to wear her hair loose unpowdered and natural no evidence that she was unpretentious there is no concrete evidence that she was the one who coldly declared that the meat cake in response to the news that her people were starving Marie was immature but not cruel all right so she is trying to prove that Marie did not was not a horrible person, basically. Okay. <laughs> uh... Great stuff. Totally worth getting up at 3 a.m. for him. I guess. I think I had like one other or two other questions I could ask Hodgkiss, so I guess we'll go do that. I can't go in that door. That's lame. Hello, my fellow night owl. Or perhaps I should say hoot hoot. <laughs> Ooh. Uh, did you find anything of interest in my room? I did pop in there, though interesting doesn't begin to describe the place. Would you mind if I went back another time? Of course not. Pop in all you like, just not when I'm working. What did you mean when you said Marie Antoinette was misunderstood? Everyone thought Marie did nothing but spend Francis money on jewels and fancy soap for herself while her people were starving. History books have upheld the myth that she was just a spoiled and heartless brat, but I don't believe it. What do you believe? I believe that she's been the victim of vicious rumors and lazy historians for too long, and that if the real story could be told, people would realize that Marie Antoinette was actually a good woman who wanted to help her people, but didn't know how. Do you know anything about a tiara that was given to Marie Antoinette? The infamous tiara, of course! Oh, people thought Marie had this extravagant piece commissioned for herself, and they hated her for it. But really, it was her husband, King Louis XVI, who had it made for her birthday. Oh, she didn't want it, refused to wear it, and then, a few months before so the revolution broke out, the tiara disappeared. Was it ever found? It was never found. There were rumors that she had it destroyed, but no one has ever been able to prove this. I know, See you soon. Like Shia LaBeouf Goodbye. Has it, right? He was mentioned in one of these books over here. Born to peasant farmer, Jean Leboeuf became one of the commanders of the French Revolutionary Army at the age of 22. He's best known for foiling Louis XVI and Marie Antoinette's attempt to escape Paris in June 1791. After hearing rumors of their planned escape, Leboeuf organized troops to intercept the fleeing royal couple. The king and queen were captured at Varennes and escorted back to Paris as prisoners. The monarchy was finally overthrown less than 14 months later. Leboeuf later became a general under Je Napoleon Bonaparte and a member of the new French aristocracy. He amassed great wealth and built a beautiful chateau that became known throughout the French upper class for its splendid library. Leboeuf died in the War of 1812. Ironically, the great general was not killed by enemy soldiers, but by food poisoning that resulted from eating a can of rancid beef. <laughs> the chateau remained in his name until the 1920s when his then impoverished family was forced to sell off his estate. 1920s. That's when this place was built, right? Right? Um. Oh, and here's Marie Antoinette. The guillotine. Okay. Nothing we need yet. Um. Okay, let's go back up to that hallway. Okay, come on. 
Jesus Christ, it's so clumsy getting around. This hallway. Nope. This hallway. She looked up at this. Something just banged. The fuck? What the hell? Um... Yes, feel better. I hope your throat is much better in the morning. <laughs> Thanks for hanging out, Biscuit. I don't think I'll be on for too much longer, so you won't miss anything. I'm sure. those sounds, but I can't remember what they are. Something's missing here. Doesn't seem like there's anything else on this tape. Huh. What was making that noise? what that was. Are you still here? Yes, dear. Damn See it. you soon. Goodbye. There's got to be a faster way to get into that room. With the, the night and everything. Maybe not. Maybe you do have to go through the library every time, I guess. Yeah. It's locked. It's locked. Shit, that's wrong. Three star seven two. God. I don't think there were any other puzzles to solve in here. Do I really have to do this every single time? That's really, really lame. Thank <laughs> you. 
Jacques! <gasps> Nancy, what are you doing here? I was just looking for the She's castle usually the soda pop machine. Funny. What you working on? I can explain, Nancy. But please, don't tell anyone that you found me here. If I get sent back to France, my fiancé will give up on me. And I will have let down my family again. What's your fiancé expecting you to accomplish by breaking into the Queen's Tower? I am doing this for my country and for my family's name. Isabelle has nothing to do with it. Except that I feel I must succeed before I will feel worthy to marry her. The tower holds a valuable French historical document. If I can find it and return it to France, perhaps I can make up for my failure at the Olympics. What kind of document? That the makes tower sense. first belonged totally. to the Chateau Rochemont in France. When Ezra Wickfield bought the tower, my great grandfather was the master carpenter in charge of dismantling oh. it and preparing it for shipment. One day, when he was working alone, he found a secret compartment in one of the walls. A secret compartment? Inside, hmm. he found an old journal with a royal crest on the cover and a medallion with a strange blue a stone in it. You say. But he heard other carpenters coming, so he hid the medallion in his pocket and sealed the journal back in the compartment. Before he could get back to them? study the journal and return the medallion, the tower was dismantled and shipped to America. He never learned who the journal belonged to or what it said. What happened to the medallion? I have the medallion now, and I'm hoping if I can get into the tower, I can find the journal too. You see, he thought hmm. if he told his story, Ezra Wickford might get angry, accuse him of interfering with the project, and try to ruin his name as a carpenter. So he kept quiet. But he told you the story? I was his only great grandson. On his deathbed, he gave me the medallion and told me the whole story. story. He begged me to come here to Wisconsin to find the journal and return it to France. Who do you think the journal belonged to? The journal bore a royal seal. It must have belonged to Marie Antoinette because she used to visit the tower during the revolution. So perhaps it contains her confessions or perhaps it contains proof of her innocence. Either way, the contents of that journal could change French history forever. I just don't see how you can think that journal will still be up there after all these years. I know it's possible that someone oh, found well, the secret compartment when the in. tower was being put back together. But I have to check anyway. I just have to know. I Nancy, do you think you could help me? Let me show you this medallion and maybe you'll be able to tell me what it's for. I don't know, Jacques. You seem pretty desperate. Oh. Okay. Why should I believe that you're not the library vandal? Oh, Nancy, you must believe me. Okay, thank you. I would for never try to destroy that beautiful library. My other earbud After my all, phone. most of those <laughs> books are French. Now, will you help me? I think this medallion will interest you. And maybe you'll have some idea what it's for. It's in my locker. Uh, will you go get it while I take care of something? The combination is 2665. I'll meet you in the locker room in a minute. Well, as long as you promise to tell Which Christy what's locker? going on. Oh, you are the best, Nancy. That's what they <laughs> tell me. <laughs> That's what they say. We're just gonna leave him here. And hope he doesn't hide anything incriminating or whatever. What did he say the combination was? Two, six, six, seven? Oh my goodness, kitten. My goodness. Yes, I love it when your tail's in my face. Thank you. Which one is Jacques' locker? Three eleven is Lisa. Hi. <laughs> is it is it three ten? I wonder if the lock is broken. No. Oh, there's more lockers. Oh, hey, look. It's got his name on it. I get it. I get it now. Two. Okay, that's the right one. <laughs> you don't trust that man? <laughs> yes, we're just playing him. He's from France. And two, he's French. <laughs> Six. Do I have to spin it all the way around again? I just don't. I don't use these. Kind of, I never use these. <laughs> 
six. I think it was seven. Was it seven, kitty cat? Oh, yawn. I hear ya. No! <laughs> Fuck! What was the code? <laughs> God damn it. Uh, it was 266 something. I guess we'll get it eventually. Can I just push it twice? See if that does it? No. Two. Zero six nine. It's definitely not. <laughs> it was two six six something. We'll try two next. Fuck. You have hairs in your eyeballs. Let me get the hairs out of your eyes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 2669. Let's try that. Uh, it might have been 9. Shaky just headbutted me. 6. 266 chicken. <laughs> okay, biscuit. <laughs> this is bad. Gotten complacent. Thank you for the tail to the mouth. Fuck! Oh, we're just getting getting through all the numbers here. It's fine. Hey. What? Take your fucking medicine. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta take my fucking medicine. <laughs> The 69 of silence. <laughs> well, you hope if, you're, if the 69 is being done right that it's not silent, right? What was I doing? What number should we try next? Two, six, six. I guess I'll just start at the beginning. Am I, I don't think it was zero. I think it was a, a single syllable. No! <laughs> what a dumb thing to get stuck on. Carried me back to my room. It's courteous of them. Headache headquarters. Nancy here. <laughs> Nancy, it's Jacques. Uh, what happened? Are you okay? I don't really know what happened. I opened your locker, like you said, and then it was lights out, Nancy. She's got but such you a weird do have my medallion, here. right? Uh, it was the no. last thing I saw. But I sure don't have it now. Oh, la la, you can't be serious. I'm afraid I am serious. I have no idea what happened to it. This is too much. Oh, la la. Oh, la la. Unbelievable. <laughs> he just hangs up. <laughs> oh, gosh. Oh, la la. All right. 
I think I might, that might be a good time to call it for the evening. Let's save. Nothing saved here. We're gonna save something here. Stream. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna switch over to My other screen? No, actually, I shouldn't. We're just gonna exit. So I can move around my computer again. <laughs> okay. Who should we raid? I think I just saw. Okay. Let's see. Forest Ranger Simulator? <laughs> Geek Girl Games is playing Forest Ranger Simulator. <laughs> I've never heard of that. But uh, I want to know more. Scared. And she's really funny. I like, I like her a lot. She's funny. Okay. So we've decided who we're going to raid. Um... I think that we should decide here and now if we do not have enough people to play Among Us on Friday. Let's do Golf with Friends because Opaluso has it now and I think it would be hilarious. Um, so that's how it's going to be from now on. Okay. I'm so ready to just to stop. I mean, it was a really fun stream, but I'm ready to stop talking for a little bit. Um, Forest Ranger Simulator. <laughs> All right, well, thank you guys for hanging out. Hopefully I can get the weird audio thing figured out, because I don't know what's going on with my microphone. But, um, thank you guys for hanging out. I know it's been a while since we streamed. We'll be back on Friday. And, um... Oh, goodness. Alright. Is it working? Here we go. It is working. Great. <laughs> we'll be back on Friday. Maybe we'll play something, uh, golfish again. Hmm? I think they have a new map, uh, or one is coming out soon. I'm not sure. But we'll, we'll play something on Friday. Everybody have a good rest of the week. And uh, I will see you all, you know, um, uh, later. <laughs> Bye.